So there's this issue going around in the Shaman King community. I really feel like I should address it because I feel like a lot of people are really being ignorant and really foolish when it comes to this type of thing. I guess what I'm trying to say is in today's society, we have a lot of people who are opinionated, but they are not educated on what exactly they are talking about. And they're very emotional and they get upset when they don't get exactly what they want. And that's honestly because we have a lot of people who are adults. They're built like adults and all that other stuff, but mentally they are just children. They are ignorant. They do not try to educate themselves and they don't ever try to think about anybody else's perspective except for themselves because they think they are the main character. They think they have the ideas on what is morally right and what is morally wrong when they don't even fucking know right from wrong them da their damn selves. There are just so many people on this earth that think they're so fucking smart, but they're just dumbasses. And that's why as a fellow black man and a fellow brother and a fellow content creator that is educated on these types of things and knows what they're talking about, I feel like I do need to speak up on this. So a lot of people feel as if Chaco Love's character in Shaman King is racist. They do not like his donut lips and they find it disrespectful that his name is Chaco Love. Now, me as someone who is black and is also a fan of Shaman King, I've never once remotely felt offended by Chaco Love or his character. So I don't really personally feel as if he's racist because his representation in the series is actually done well and it's not offensive in the slightest. I just think people are being overly emotional over his big lips. And it's really sad to see because there are a bunch of other black characters in Shaman King that don't have big lips and none of them are racist looking. But if you give a black character big lips, it automatically becomes racist. It really feels as if we're letting the racists win because we're letting them dehumanize one of our most defining features as black people. We let racist people get so far under our skin that if you draw a black character with big lips, it's just, it makes us uncomfortable. And we cannot let that happen. One of our race's defining features, we just can't show that because people get uncomfortable. Because you're letting the racist when when you do that when you get uncomfortable over yourself and you you let the racist win because you lose confidence in who you are and what race you are you feel uncomfortable over big lips do you feel uncomfortable over your black skin that like you cannot let people contain you to dehumanize this you can't because the moment we actually get some real representation we get it we censor it why are we censoring us? Because this is actually a case when this is not racist at all. And people are just trying to call it racist just for the sake of calling it racist. And that's why I say this is really uneducated because just because a black character has big lips, that does not make it racist in the slightest. If they're giant red lips and they look like ape lips, that's when it's racist, dude. This is not racist at all. Killa from Dragon Ball Z is not racist. That is a good black design character. But you know why people would call it racist? Simply because of the fact that he has big lips. And they let one of our race's most prominent features get dehumanized. Because whenever a character has big lips, it's racist. Could you just imagine if we replaced the big lips with another defining feature of that black people have? Instead, let's, re let's replace it with nappy hair. I don't, I think this character is racist because he has nappy hair. Like, dude, <laughs> does that not sound dumb to you guys? It would be racist if he had abnormally dark skin. It would be racist if he had big red lips. It would be racist if every single black character that Hiroyuki Take drew had giant lips, but that is not the case. Choco Love is one character with this one feature and it's not racist. We gotta let, we gotta stop this racism. We gotta stop letting these people beat us down and make us look at ourselves and make us lose confidence in us. People in anime aren't allowed to have big lips. 
Are car like are, are, is no one are, are characters not allowed to have big lips? What about the people in real life that actually do have big lips? What characters are they gonna connect with? None, I guess, because their features are just too inappropriate to be shown. And I'm gonna say it again. Too inappropriate to be shown because we let them take it away from us. And the sad thing is, we're doing it to ourselves, bro. We could really get over this, but we're literally doing it to ourselves. I just don't know what it is. Like, if you just automatically see something racist like that, I, there just got to be something wrong with you, dude. Like, there has to be something wrong with you. Because, like, I just don't know how... You just look at something like that and you just think it's racist. It's just crazy to me, dude. Like, because you just, why is, like, you let that shit get ingrained into your head, bro. You lit, the, you lit those evil thoughts that these terrible people come up with permanently become a part of you. See, I don't know about y'all, but I think it's about time we claim back one of our key features, bro. No more should we lit people put us down for who we are we can find like we can represent with this cool ass character bro chocolo with some real representation bro how often is it that you get a cool big lip and black anime character never not once does that ever happen we cannot let this go to waste bro we cannot this is our chance to fight back racism by getting some real representation. We cannot just sit here and continue to shoot ourselves in the foot. It's so bad they even ch censored Choco Love's name and lips in the Viz Media version of the Shaman King manga, bro. I would hate for them to touch him in the 2021 anime. We gotta, we really need to speak up and we need to let them know that it is not an issue, bro. Obviously, I understand why people would want to censor this, but you need to look at the bigger picture and realize that censoring it, especially when it's not actually racist, is just it's just feeding the fire, bro. As an anime community and as black people, we need to take our lips back, bro. We need to we need progress. We need progress. So I just want to end this video off with saying Chaka Love isn't racist, and we need to stop, stop shooting ourselves in the foot because this is some good representation that we're getting and we could actually boost our own self-esteem and put our race up like it should be Just, like we're putting ourselves down with like we're putting our one of our most defining features down when there's no need to like let, let the big lit black character be cool that's all you need to do because choco love is cool this dude is badass and maybe the people who are actually self-conscious about their lips, let them have this. Let them have a character that they can, like, you know, like, like and relate to. Like, there could be a kid out there going like, I, I, don't, I don't like my lips. Do, 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 do. Chocolove don't give a shit about his lips. This man cooling. So guess what? I'm a cool like Chocolove.